At the start of the 20th century, Europe was a powder keg of nationalist interests and radical elements. And no place was more of a powder keg than the city of Sarajevo. On June 28, 1914, some 20 assassins lined the motorcade route for the visiting heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. A bomb left the Archduke and his wife, Duchess Sophie, unharmed. The assassins, having missed their opportunity, were left in defeat. In one of history's greatest coincidences, hours after the failed assassination attempt, the car carrying the Archduke and Duchess stalls in front of a cafe. The very cafe where an assassin is consoling himself with a sandwich. I was thinking, um, maybe I could yell something like, long live the Habsburgs. Jamie, you're perfect already. Besides, there's no record of uh, the Duchess yelling anything when she and the Archduke were assassinated. Yeah, but no one knows for sure. She could have yelled something like, my children, or why, Sarajevo, why? I just want to give it some punch. The district finals are next week, and I don't want to risk losing points for historical inaccuracy. Well, I was thinking, though, as we die, maybe we embrace? <laughs> Hey guys, I heard Stuyvesant's doing Lincoln. Huh, <laughs> low-hanging fruit. Beginners do Lincoln. I think Mary Todd Lincoln is fascinating. Yeah, I could get into playing John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes Booth? How hard is it to jump on stage and yell, Six Semper Tyrannus? It takes some skill. He was a classically trained actor. Like, oh, Six Semper Tyrannus. Please. We're not doing Lincoln or Kennedy or Julius Caesar, another one that's done to death. Aren't they all done to death? Isn't that the point of assassination recreation club? That's a good point. Let the other schools play dress up. We recreate history. Trust me, guys, we're going to kill at regionals. Again, we all kill at regionals. Well, we may even make state, may, maybe even nationals. Trust me, the ripest fruit is the hardest to reach. I do like my fruit ripe. Well, I've got to go get changed. I can't wear this on the G train again. People think I'm a ghost. Listen, I didn't want to save this with Jamie around, but... You're all over the place with the blocking and the sandwich. What's wrong with the sandwich? An avocado panini in 1914 Sarajevo. I was craving avocado and watercress. And you're not playing you when you're up there. You're playing Gavillo Princip, the assassin who launched modern history. Well, maybe he would crave an avocado and watercress panini. Really? I mean, the assassination they've been planning for weeks has just failed. The bomb goes off and the Archduke survives. He's craving... Something with mustard? Dignity. Respect. A victory for himself and his people. Okay, so not mustard, uh, maybe a kebab. Serbs love kebabs. You've been distracted lately. I have? Yeah. When we started this club, you lived it. You became Malcolm X. Now the only thing you seem to care about is Jamie, your girlfriend. Oh, she's not my girlfriend. We're just seeing each other. Interesting. I just wonder if the club is still a priority. No, it is. I'm into the club. I just, I think maybe we could do something that people would actually turn up to see, like like Tupac or Biggie Smalls. Technically not assassination. What's wrong with giving people what they want? Most people don't want what they think they want. You think people really like fast food and pop music? I'm sure some do. You have to trust me. As your best friend, I want you to succeed. I want you to be as amazing as I know you can be. And word will get out. People will come. OK, so no avocado panini. Abby Gallagher, Eagle Eye News. Can I ask why this particular assassination? Oh, most people don't really like fast food or popular music. Uh, John, press is more my department, so maybe you can go do some sandwich research. The assassination of Archduke Ferdinand was the spark that ignited the Great War. I see. Why not the assassination of Abraham Lincoln or something a little more popular? The Assassination Recreation Club is not about popularity. Say... It's about connecting with the human element of history. Got it. Nice quote. Thanks. You want me to pose for a picture for the cover? <laughs> this isn't a cover story. It's football season. Oh, so page two? 
I'll see what I can do. We're facing a declining readership. The paper is getting smaller. Got it. Well, wouldn't want too prominent a placement anyway, you know. Wouldn't want to come off looking like sellouts. Has that been an issue for your club? No. Sauerkraut and a sauce made of pickled horse hooves on sourdough bread, which may have also been pickled. Mm, I guess that's why you don't see too many Serbian sandwich shops these days, but I appreciate the effort. I'm all about the club. <laughs> Great to hear. Listen, I need a recommendation for a date movie. Something romantic. Oh, Titanic. It has everything. Romance, a big boat, an iceberg. Titanic. That's a young Leo DiCaprio. He may be too handsome. I don't want to compete with that. I did see a documentary on the Titanic. It's less romantic, but still has the big boat and iceberg. Eh, maybe. Who's the girl? You might just want to ask her what she wants to see. I don't know. I might seem weak, indecisive. Maybe. Well, most girls just say, I don't care, whatever you want to see. Not Jamie. Wait, Jamie? You're asking out Jamie? You know we're seeing each other. Oh, right. Um, I think you should break up with Jamie. I can't break up with her. We're not going out. We're just seeing each other. What's the difference? Not sure. It's... Murky territory for all involved. Listen, I've thought about it, and I think I'd be better for her. A better boyfriend. I'm not her boyfriend. We're just seeing each other. Whatever you are to her, I'd be better at that. I'm not so sure. I am. I'm more her type. I'm a leader. And I know how to meet a woman's needs. Jamie has needs? Yes. She may be a young woman, but she's still a woman. And women have needs. So how are you defining woman? post bot mitzvah, then? Technically, maybe. I haven't talked to her about this yet, but when I do, I want you to know my argument is solid. At two, Verte? What's the big deal? You said it yourself. You're only seeing each other. I know, Think on the bright side. You'll have more time to spend on the club. I gotta go take this mustache off. My mom's making soup for dinner tonight, and I'd like for most of it to end up in my mouth, not above it. Hey. Hey. You ready to go? You still have your mustache on. I know. I may keep it on. Maybe try to get into a club or a trade union. Do you need anything? No. Maybe I can carry your books? I don't think we're ready for that step. We're still only seeing each other. You can carry my pen. It's okay. Um, I'll get you a new one, a better one. It's okay. My mom has a lot of them. Apparently at her work, there's a closet full of pens. Oh, good. Classifieds. Have you guys seen this? Someone selling a used Pokemon card set? No. Here. Oh, hey, we're in the paper. Awesome. It all seems so real now. Is it hot in here? Hey, guys, what's with the improv out there? Sorry, it was in the moment. It felt like the Duchess was speaking through me. Yeah, me too. I mean, not the Duchess. But I felt the moment. Jamie and I are often in sync like that. Look, I appreciate the enthusiasms, but let's just stick to the script. You can get changed. Uh, not you, Jamie. I have something to discuss. Well, what's that? It's between us. Well, maybe I should stick around, you know, because me and Jamie are seeing each other. It's okay. You can go try to take the mustache off. You sure? Because I'm here to help. An ear to bend, a shoulder to cry on. Whatever you need. We'll take the train together. It's okay. Okay.
seeing John. Oh, uh, he was gonna break out. No, no, I wasn't. Sorry. Excuse me. It's burning. He can't break up with me. We aren't going out. We're only seeing each other. Oh, right. The murky details. I'm gonna um, bother. John, I'm gonna bother. Maybe we should talk. I think that's an excellent idea. I've been thinking about us. Since when? Since just now. Miles brings up some good points. Oh. I'm a woman. I have needs. You don't meet those needs. I just, just, just found out about, the, about the needs. John, you gotta do your research. Oh, oh, we're only, we're only seeing each other. Are you saying you want to go out with me? Well, if, if that means what I, th what I think it does, then, then yeah, yeah, I want to go out with you. Uh, no, hang on a second, John. I was about to ask Jamie to go out with me. I mean, I think we can skip the seeing each other and go right to the asking out, so... Jamie, will you go out with me? Well, this is a day full of twists and turns. Jamie, maybe we should go. I got you a new pen. That's a need. It was... It was here a second ago. John, I'm gonna stop seeing you. Miles asked me out. Don't I rescind my offer on the new pen? Hey, gang, let's not let the personal taint the celebration of a job well done. John, but for the improvisations, you are a fantastic assassin. Why do I feel like the one who was shot? Oh, John, we've had some good times. Some moments I'm sure we'll cherish into middle age, but our time in the sun is done. Adieu, my friend. This is our final dress rehearsal before the judges come tomorrow. This is our last chance to make it right. For those of you who showed up today to be onlookers to history, thank you very much. We're glad to have you on board. And to our esteemed member of the press, we hope what you see is worthy of prominent placement in your illustrious journal. Thank you. I'm playing a passionate guy, he's an assassin for cry eye. Is this about me stealing your girl? I wasn't his girl, we were only seeing each other. I don't know, maybe you should have someone else play my part. Don't be so dramatic, you're the best actor we have. I just don't see a reason to stay in this club right now. Nice job. I think you really captured the feeling of 1914 Sarajevo. Thanks. But didn't the Archduke and his wife die of their wounds at the governor's house? Well, you know your stuff. <laughs> I was the president of the Assassination Recreation Club at my old school. I'm Carolyn, by the way. I'm Jamie. Miles, club president. John, I'm single. Not seeing anyone or going out with anyone. Is that a real mustache? No, just strong glue. It suits you. You should keep it. I may not have a choice. Uh, John just quit the club. Oh, nothing was formalized. It was more of a trial balloon. I'm thinking I may stay for the good of the club. Great. Uh, so, Carolyn, something tells me you'll be a great addition to our team. You guys should do JFK. Please, I've wanted to play Jackie since the fifth grade. It's never gonna happen here. I could so see you in a pink dress and a pillbox hat climbing onto the trunk of a speeding limo. Thank you. Don't you think JFK is a little obvious? There are only so many stories to tell. Besides, the real artistry is in how you tell them. Last year, we took Abe Lincoln to the Illinois State Finals. And let me tell you, in Illinois, everyone does Lincoln. It's the land of Lincoln, so it figures. I bet your Mary Todd Lincoln was amazing. <laughs> it would have been if I hadn't played John Wilkes Booth. Six separate tyrannics! Wow, girlfriend got some pipe. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I noticed some great things you were doing, but I had a couple ideas that might take it to the next level. Sure. Wow. She is quite spectacular. The whole package. Yeah. What was the name of that Titanic movie you mentioned? Titanic. No, the other one. It's also Titanic. Just so you know, me and Jamie already watched both of them together. I wonder if Carolyn, the new girl, has seen them. Aren't you going out with Jamie? Yes. Um, I'm going to need you to break up with Jamie for me.
find two rows of people out there. Two rows all for us? Hey guys, let's circle up. Uh, Carolyn, why don't you come join our circle? Yes, yeah, sister, get in here. Actually, would you come around here just, just next to me? So oh, no, she's fine. No, just so it's boy, girl, boy, girl, you know, the, the symmetry of it. Yeah, but boy, boy, girl, girl is just as symmetrical. Yeah, and we're already circled up. I don't mind switching. Uh, Whatever helps the team. Oh, it's a big help. Wow, your hands are soft. So are yours. Uh, yeah, like a lady's hands, right? Sorry if mine are too rough and calloused. Not really. I try lotions, creams, oil of Olay. Nothing will soften these lumberjack mitts of mine. No one thinks your bird hands are too rough, John. Guys, we are about to enter history, okay? And no matter who is seeing whoever else, or, or who is going out with whoever else, or, or, or who may be dating someone else soon, someone new, we're a team. And we're gonna go out there as a team. Well, your hands are soft. Does anyone want to comment on the quality of my hands? Uh, they're fine. Perhaps clammy. Maybe I'm just nervous about the performance. Just stick to the script and we'll be fine. <laughs> Hey there, Assassination fans! Welcome to the 26th Annual Assassination Recreation Regional Finals! Let's meet our judges! I'm so nervous. Oh, yeah? I'm not. My hands are soaking wet. I don't know what to do. Oh, do you, do you need a towel? Yeah. Maybe Miles can get you that. Gloves are just soaked. Anyone need a good luck hug? Or even a kiss? Sure. I don't want to smear my makeup. Please welcome to the stage the Gerald Ford High Eagle! Break up with me, we're only seeing each other. Well, anyway, I'm sorry. Thanks. Six Semper Tyrannus! Yeah! Hey, nice job, man. Thanks, man. I think this will get you on the cover. Really? If it bleeds, it leads. Nice. Without that mustache. Shame. I could glue it back on. The magic's lost. 
Well, we made history, that's for sure. There's always next year. Speaking of which, I have a few ideas. Jamie, have you ever heard of Charlotte Corday? I can't say that I have. She assassinated Jean-Paul Marat in his bathtub, which he never left, by the way, due to his terrible skin condition. Intriguing. Any experience with knives? Only in the abstract. That was a disaster, and not the good kind. Guess I'm just not cut out to be club president. Are you kidding? Without you, there'd be no club. No, I just went out of control. I mean, who tries to steal their best friend's girlfriend? Oh, we were only seeing each other. Whatever, I'm still sorry. Forget about it. It's history. Nice job out there. I didn't realize the Archduke was assassinated by his wife. We take our research very seriously. It shows. I'm Abby, by the way. I've seen you around. What are you, a lumberjack or something? I could say the same of you. Shaved off your mustache. I only grew it out for this. You look better without it. Older. Thanks. Hey, have you ever seen the Titanic? Which one, the documentary or the other one? <laughs> Either. Yes, but I'd watch them both again. Maybe I could call you sometime? Yeah, let me give you my number. Just what I need. You're a killer, you're a hitman, and you're looking to do Not the realer. What I'm dealing is my feelings. This love is powerful. It might hurt you, girl, like a bomb going off. You can't get enough of my killer lover stuff. I can't tell a lie. My love is the truth. You're my Lincoln. I'm your John Wilkes Booth. Without a sound, you left on the. Cr